Hello, John Bloodworth, Gentleman Crafter here with instructions on how to put together the mini memory book. First of all, let me show you around. This is the mini mem memory book when fully constructed. And inside we've got options for uh, pockets, flaps and inserts. So you can see I'm just running through here uh, a couple of the pages and don't think you have to stick them all the same way. You can mix and match them and you can, of course, put different things on different pages. This really is just a serving suggestion. You can mirror it for the other pages or, of course, you can just do it all totally different. Just showing you here one of the inserts, which is double sided. Great for putting photos on or even handwritten sentiments or notes about the event that you had. Now here's one that I made as a tester and I didn't have the backings on these, but I thought there would be a great example to show you a slight different variation of layout and the fact that you can leave certain sections blank in case you wanted to write on them. Now both of those come from the same core book, which is uh, similar to this in the fact that it has the four pages. It's the page accessories that will make the books differ. So let's take a look at some of the parts and some of the preparatory steps. So for the book cover, we've put on the decorative panels and I've put some double-sided tape onto the flaps. You don't have to use double-sided tape, we can use glue. You'll also have two decorative layers spare for that and you'll keep hold of those. For the book hinges, you'll make four mountains from those score lines and then use double-sided tape again on the back on the two large tabs. Again, you don't have to use double-sided tape. We can, of course, use glue. For the pages, they are basically a fold-over page and you would stick the bottom edge from those three dashed score lines to the center uh, fold line and then stick that to form the pocket into which the insert goes. And you'll have four of those. Each has a decorative layer on either side. For the uh, flip flaps or the little trio of flaps, basically you'll put the decorative panels on both sides. For the inserts, again, decorative panels on both sides. For the page flap and pocket, again, you will have decorative panels to put on this each side of the flap but not of the pockets because you won't see that. Let's make a start. So we're going to start by basically putting our adhesive on the flaps of the main book cover and folding those over. As I mentioned earlier, you can use glue at this stage instead of double-sided tape. I just found that the double-sided tape added a little extra strength when putting this together. The end flaps, the very thin flaps, go uh, fold over last and make sure they are fully pressed down. These will help form nice crisp corners. These flaps are um, constructional in the fact that they will add stability and structure to the finished project as well. So they are a key step and well worth taking your time over. Now that we have that done, we can put our hinges in place. Now I've stuck together those mountains so you can see there that we've got four peaks and the large flaps that stick out either side. Again, as I mentioned, I've used double-sided tape on the outside, but you could use glue and you definitely must put adhesive on the backs of those three sections that you just saw me doing there. I'm also putting glue over the top of the double-sided tape just for a little wiggle room time. You'll then position this as centrally as possible, both vertically and horizontally. And when you are sure it's there, stick everything down and make sure those central sections are stuck as well. Next, we can put on those decorative panels that go on the inside cover. So apply glue or adhesive or tape, tape runner, whatever you fancy to the back side of that. And then stick it so that the um, decorative layer has uh, a thin border around the three sides towards the outside edge of that booklet or book we can call it a booklet can't we 
Repeat that for the other side. And again, these decorative layers add, stay, uh, add stability and structure to the project as well. So with two sheets or two layers of the paper, plus the um, cardstock that forms the cover, you will have a nice structured project. Now, you'll see two little divots after we've put all this together. You're going to use a blunt ended scoring tool to score very firmly between those two points. And what this will do is press and um, press the fibers of the card together and it will allow you to fold those covers over. It's going to be stiff and tough. We're using 200 GSM card and we've got two layers of that at least plus the double sided tape. But again, that's giving us structure and stability. So just manipulate those until they're nice and flexible. And then that's our cover done. So we can move on to our pages now. Now, as I said, we're going to stick the bottom edge between those little dashed score lines and the main center fold. Glue those together, put the decorative layers on the outside, and then we're going to start putting our accessories on. Sometimes you will need to understand where the um, page is going to get stuck into the book so that you can align things. So for this trio or waterfall of flaps, we're going to position it so that it meets up with the outside edge. So that's where the dashed score line is. This allows us to um, fold over the page when we um, close the book. So just apply glue to the tab to the side that doesn't have the extra decorative layer on and then stick that in place, butting them up against each other. I like to do these in pairs in the center of the book. I don't know why, but that's what I do. And so you'll just do the same for the other one, again, making sure it sticks to the outside edge. For the page pocket and flap, you can use these as pairs, as I'm going to do here, or you can use them individually on other pages. Alternatively, you can leave pages blank. These accessories are up to you. Essentially though, the cutting files that I've supplied will give you four page pockets and flaps and six or two pairs of trios. With that page pocket, it's always best to stick the bottom edge first and then stick the two side panels in place. And there you can see we've got our page pocket and flap. So you would go ahead and put whatever pieces you want on whatever pages. And once you have done so, we can start sticking the pages into the book. To do this, we're going to apply adhesive to both sides of a hinge. Tease apart the page and then slide it into position. It should run from the top to the bottom of the spine and then start um, pressing it firmly in place. Folding it back like I'm doing here allows the page to move to a position where it will freely fold and open. You'll probably notice there's about a millimeter from the back edge of the spine to the actual page itself. Do that again for the other three and then you will have your book ready to decorate with your sentiments, photographs, tickets, or other memorabilia. You can of course decorate the outside with uh, sentiments, words, or whatever you fancy. And then of course you've got your inserts if you want to write any notes about the event you're commemorating or celebrating, or even just put some photographs in there as well. Okay, I hope you have fun making this project and I look forward to seeing what you make.